as we see shifting behaviors demanding food products are aligned to the reality of the choices that people are making and its impact on the environment. We're seeing increased frequency and intensity of climate change impacts. And so people ask, what is it that I can do? The demand from the end of consumers needs to really reflect the reality of the fact that we are just consuming too much, especially in Western countries. We can really reduce generally our intake of problematic products um, that are primarily animal protein and products that don't really need to travel the world to get to our plates. The quick answer to this is eat less animal protein and really make sure that the foods you eat are locally sourced because it takes a lot of energy and uh, to get products around the world into your onto your plate ultimately there's no need to demand certain products or certain fruits all year round why do we need watermelon 12 months out of the year sometimes even those who want to be more conscious consumers of certain food products don't have access to them so this needs to be a top-down effort where food products are made available um, and these products are nutritious and go longer ways for people that are trying to ensure that they feed themselves and their families in a healthy and safe way. Individuals can also demand that of local groceries and make a point to support community level farmers markets and encourage that type of option being available through demand and through buying behaviors. Those unfortunately that are most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change are not even consuming at the levels that are contributing to agriculture and animal uh, food production, which is one of the leading causes of carbon emissions. And we need to overhaul those systems to make it more sustainable. What individuals can do and those who are not consuming as much as the West can still recognize that there is no need for animal protein, not just because of the fact that there's a negative impact on the planet, but because of health issues as well. Our interaction with the natural environment and with animals that has resulted not just in degrading of our planet, but it's also increasing the likelihood of infectious disease to emerge. So as people demand more food overall, we're talking about a 70% increase in, in food production to feed that amount of people by 2050. Uh, we're degrading the soil and we're actually destroying actual arable land from which to produce this sustenance for people. So it's a really vicious cycle and we have to break it if we're going to be able to nutritiously feed the 10 billion people we're locked into on a planet that is 1.5 degrees warmer. So that's much more difficult to farm in and to scale.